Hey, so this is a short video on the um, broken coolant reservoir cap on my Jeep, 2014 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I went online and this seems to be a pretty common problem. And this is, uh, I'm filming this after the fact. I've already fixed it, so I can't do this step by step. But basically, when the top of the cap comes off in your hand and the bottom piece here is still stuck in it, I watched a couple of videos, uh, guys had screwdrivers and they were prying it up on both sides for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, I tried that for a little bit and it was just kind of breaking apart on top and wasn't coming out at all. So um, I got an idea. <clears throat> I took the cap, this piece here, screwed it down as tight as I could on the reservoir. And um, then I, ins I took my drill and I drilled four screws into the top of it. I'm sure any kind of screw would work, but um, I like to use uh, these types of screws here. It's a sheetrock screw. I use it for just about everything. It goes into wood really well. So something about like that length so it doesn't go all the way through it and put any bits down into your coolant. But um, probably overkill, but I put four of them in there just to be safe. And using the leverage Again, I, t I put the cap down as tight as I could, so using the leverage of turning the cap back, unscrewing the cap, pulled it right out, pretty as you please. <laughs> could probably actually continue to use it like this if I wanted to, but of course I didn't. Went to uh, the Jeep dealership. I uh, just wanted to go back with an OEM on this one. Paid way more than it's probably worth, but everything's fixed, everything's working. So if you have this problem again, um, I wouldn't recommend taking screwdrivers on it and working on it for 15 or 20 minutes trying to get it out. It literally took me about a minute and a half to screw these in and screw this lid off. So, hope this helps.